One more. Okay, I'm going to stop. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar, The Standard in PIR Detection from Aratech. My name is Jeff Rushton and I'm the Chief Technical Officer at Alarm Corp. And I'm joined today by Alarm Corp's Business Development Manager, Diane Brazil. It's a pleasure to be here, Jeff. It's good to have you, Di. Thank you. Before we get started, uh, for those people that haven't joined us before for a webinar, I'll run through some, some of the main points. Firstly, you'll see that you're muted. Please remain muted during the course of the webinar. And just to ensure that you can see the presentation and hear me, if you wouldn't mind clicking the hand icon, just to make sure that um, all systems are go. Okay, excellent. You can put those hands down now. And we can continue on. If you have any questions during the course of the webinar, uh, the best way to have them answered is just to type it in the question pane and hit the send button. And then at the end of the webinar, we'll go through those questions and hopefully be able to answer those for you. So without any more to do, we'll get, um, we'll get into it now. Today's topic is all about detectors that Aratec manufacture. Uh, in fact, this webinar is pretty much an extension of two previous webinars that we've recently conducted. One was on SCEC products a few weeks back, and the other, a new approach to the Humble PIR. If you wish to view any of those previous webinars, you can happily visit our webpage and look under the, resource, uh, the resources tab. Di, how would you like to give us some background on Aratech, the company? Sure. Aratech has been around for nearly as long as the electronic security industry has. Aratech was founded 44 years ago in Belgium. Aratech is one of the few manufacturers that have maintained quality for more than 40 years on an unprecedented level. Aratech always comes first in new developments and constantly raises the bar. This also applies to the service. Aratech products are serviced for many years after they have been removed from the range. Aratech manufacture a range of security panels, detectors and accessories. Okay, excellent. This next slide shows us a, a brief, I suppose, history of the motion sensors within the security industry. Firstly, at the top of the list, you'll see that um, in 1971, Aratech was founded. In the early 1970s is when we first saw the, the, the first ultrasonic detectors hit the market. It wasn't that long after, in the very early 80s, that microwave detectors made their presence felt. Towards the end of the 80s is probably when we first saw the first PIR detectors hit the market. And then sort of close to 10 years later, we saw an influx of dual technology type sensors, whether they be PIR and microwave, PIR and ultrasonic, or quad style PIR units. In 2010, Aratech was acquired by UTC Fire and Security, and they're still owned by them today. Also, I suppose today when you, you look out at the, the range and style of detectors that are out there on the market, there's quite a few manufacturers around. Most of them have niche names for the technology that they're using. Um, and in fairness, Aratech isn't that much different. You'll learn some of their niche names in the, the coming slides. But technologies or, or words like Swiss Tech, Match Tech, Blue Line, Vector Enhanced, 4D Signal Processing, etc. They're all, you know, buzzwords that manufacturers use to to make their technology sound pretty whiz bang. 
Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be any different today, neither. Aratec's current range of detectors are broadly classified into these groups. The internal motion detectors, which have ceiling mount and wall mount, standard, pet immune, anti-mask and dual technology. These are available in the EV series of detectors and the VE series of detectors. Okay, with Aratex EV series, all the detectors have the, the following list of, of main features. Uh, I'll read these next couple of slides. They do get a little bit wordy, so please bear with me. But Aratec mirror optic PIR detectors, they offer a unique combination of highly sensitive detection and very low false alarms. And they don't have a, a need for any manual sensitivity adjustment at all. One of the buzzwords or key features that are on all of their ranges of products is they call it three grid step and gliding focus. What that is in a nutshell, it's basically the detectors are equipped with an advanced and sophisticated mirror optics technology. The EV series detectors use a unique step and gliding focus feature to create a continuous curtain that ensures the sensors never lose track of an object. For increased detection coverage, these sensors also have been optimised using the three grid orthogonal curtain. A horizontal mirror structure produces curtains with a vertical orientation. This orthogonal technology adds curtains to the mirror without sacrificing signal strength and therefore without having to increase the size of the sensor. There's a lot of words there, but if we have a quick look at the diagrams on the, the right hand side, the very top diagram is a bit of a rough image of their mirror optics and in particular the step and gliding focus function of the way the mirror operates. But in relation to the, the, the way that the technology works, we can see with the bottom right hand picture that whether it was a curtain or a, a, a wide angle lens, you'll notice that every square inch of the detection zone has got detection. There are no dead spots at all in that, in that, in this case with the curtain lens. Uh, a typical competitor lens would be the picture above it, which still goes out to the same sort of distance and covers the same area, but doesn't have nearly the amount of, of lenses or curtains or fingers of um, activity or, or sensitivity out there. All of the EV series also contain what they call 3D signal processing, 5D signal processing. That's just increased by two. And um, they've got built-in intelligence capable of differentiating between fast and slow moving signals. So when a slow thermal source is detected, the signal processing switches automatically to the 5D mode and executes additional pattern recognition to identify the signal. So using the 5D signal processing, much better than the 3D I mentioned earlier, they can differentiate between a slow walking person and let's say moving reflection of sunlight. So it enhances security while drastically reduces false alarms. Other features that these detectors have is certainly they're, they're very tolerant of dodgy walls. So if the wall angle is a little bit out, um, there's no issue. It can happily mount it at ranges of about 1.8 to about 3 metres in height for all of their range. All the detectors have plug-in electronics, which is probably no big deal these days, but still, I suppose, semi-important to, to mention. They all have sealed optics, so there's no chance of dust or vermin or anything getting and contaminating the, um, the, the sensor or the element. All the EV series also have a, a feature called cloak and umbrella immunity. These days there's a few el elusive sort of thieves that are going out there and they're using camouflage techniques such as you know, an umbrella uh, or a large cloak or a canvas sheet, something that will block the infrared energy to the detector. 
all of the EV series have got technology to combat that sort of um, that sort of problem. There's a number of detectors in the range that are pet immune, and they're pet immune up to 15 kilos, and all the detectors have full under crawl detection. That is from directly under the detector to out to the maximum range, there is no dead spots or no holes in the detection coverage. They all have the ability to select their coverage pattern by using various mirror masks. They all have what we call autofocus. That is, regardless of whether the object is directly in front of the detector or further away at its maximum range, the size of the object is consistent and looks the same to the detector. So the sensitivity level remains consistent throughout the range. The EV series starts with these entry level detectors in the range. The EV100-PI is a standard 10 metre petamune PIR, while the DD100PI is a dual technology version of the same detector. The EV105 and DD105 are the 12 metre equivalents. These detectors are well suited to residential and small commercial environments. Okay, thanks Di. Following on from the 100 series are the 1012 series detectors. They're available in a standard or an anti-mask, a dual technology or a dual technology and anti-mask. And these detectors offer pretty much everything that you would need in a 12 metre sensor for all your commercial or your high security applications. You can see that the EV1012 and the 1012AM, they're also SCEC approved. And again, just re-highlighting that you can see again from the coverage pattern that all of these detectors offer full no gap coverage from directly under the sensor to the maximum range. The same applies to all of the 16 metre versions of these detectors and they're both available in a standard and anti-mask version as we can see there. This brings us to some of the most popular detectors in the range, the 360 degree ceiling models available in standard, dual technology and dual technology with anti-mask. All offer a 20 metre coverage pattern. Each detector also has dual pyros which offer 180 degrees of coverage and selectable segments to give an unprecedented level of performance. All of these are SCEC approved. These are ideal for open plan sites that have minimal walls and require a discrete installation. A variety of other EV series detectors are still available as you can see here. If you require further information on these units, please go to our website. Okay, Di, thanks. Now that we've seen the EV series, we'll move on to the next series, which is their VE series. These cause a bit of confusion, don't they? Because people have the habit of mixing up the letters. Yeah, that's true, unfortunately. The Aratec VE series, or what they call vector enhanced detectors, have the letters reverse. But in addition to the features that we've just seen with the EV series, they also have the following additional features. Di, do you mind uh, reading this one out for us? Sure. Aratec Vector Enhanced Motion Sensors, VE series, feature highly advanced and sophisticated optics that provide precise detection and superior performance. The unique optical mirror technology uses a step and gliding focus feature that creates 11 continuous curtains resulting in sensors that provide maximum coverage density of up to 60 metres. Using a patented vector pyro, VE series motion sensors not only detect the presence of a thermal source, but also determine the direction of motion across the surveillance area. When the chime mode is set to on, VE series motion sensors can be set to trigger an alarm when an intruder walks from left to right and or right to left. 
By merging the resolution of advanced mirror optics with the patented vector pyro, VE series motion sensors deliver exceptional PIR technology for increased sensitivity and lower false alarms. VE series motion sensors also incorporate a patented vector verified enhanced signal processing, or VE2. Each type of signal source generates a unique vector output that is captured by the vector pyro. Digital signal processing analyzes each vector's shape and pattern, allowing it to distinguish between different signal sources. V2E signal processing technology ensures motion sensors identify and filter out stationary thermal sources, as well as non-thermal signal sources to react only to signals from intruders and prevent false alarms. We can see that the VE series have much the same types of detectors as the EV series. We have a standard, a pet immune version and an anti-mask version in the 12 metre range. All these units are SCEC approved as well. Then for the 16 metre range, we have four versions, a standard detector, anti-mask, dual technology and dual technology with anti-mask. For longer ranges, a 20 metre detector with or without anti-mask is available. The VE735 and 735AM are no doubt the most popular commercial or high security detector available. They offer a 20 metre wide angle coverage pattern and also a 60 metre curtain in the one detector. All are SCEC approved. They benefit installations that have corridors, hallways, pallet aisles, etc. It's also available with changeover contacts in the VE736. Okay, thanks Ty. I suppose in summary, we've, we've gone through very quickly a lot of different models and a, a lot of different versions. Um, so let's try and summarise what we've, we've seen the, this afternoon. We know that Aratech basically started, I'm not saying they invented the first detector, but they started when motion detectors were invented for the security industry. Aerotech produce a very wide selection of high quality internal motion sensors, of which many are SCEC approved. Aerotech has been widely specced in a, a lot of security specifications for 30 years or, or more. And certainly Alarm Corp sells the complete range of all the Aerotech sensors. In fact, whether they've been on this presentation or not, if they're an Aerotech sensor and still currently available, then they're available through us. There are only two current ranges of Aerotech sensor, the EV series and the VE series. The entire range utilises mirror optics and use Aerotech's patented detection algorithms. And from what we've seen, Aerotech sensors are certainly no more expensive than most of the other, I'm going to say, inferior brands that are out there. Certainly, if you'd like to know more, the best place or the first place that I would suggest is go to our, our website. All of the Aerotech sensors and their data sheets are listed there and can be downloaded. You can subscribe to our monthly newsletter, the Alarm Corp Pulse, uh, from our website and uh, that will gain you access to receiving our newsletters and our specials. If you register online with us, you can also gain access to our e-commerce platform and you can get pricing and order placement and download technical information on all of our products as well. Or failing all of that, you can more than happily contact any of the people listed therein for the branches mentioned. Either myself, Di, Richard or Stephen will be more than happy to, to help you. Alarm Corp is also on Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. So the next time you're on any of those, please just search for Alarm Corp and you can either follow or like us to receive other information. 
Alarm Corp will be conducting regular webinars, certainly for the remainder of the year, as we've done all of this year. Every third Wednesday or Thursday, I lose track of what day it is, we'll be holding an intrusion-based webinar. The next one for myself is which reader or technology should I choose on the 18th of September? And every second Wednesday, we hold a CCTV webinar. The next one coming up is on the 10th of September with uh, camera technologies, what's the best setup and performance. If you want to register for any future webinar or to view any of the previous webinars that we've conducted, just go to the Alarm Corp website, click on resources and then click on webinars. When you attend one of our webinars, you will receive access to special promotions. For the month of August, for all purchases made online through our e-commerce platform, please enter the promo code AUGWBEB14 during checkout to receive an additional 10% off your already discounted trade prices. This applies to nearly all of Alarm Corp's product range, with a few exceptions as listed here the CPAS, Sony and Verant products. Okay, hopefully if you haven't already done so, you can do so now and, and if you have a question or many questions, please feel free to type them in and hit send and we'll do our best to answer them. Okay. Don't be shy. Okay, one's just come come up um, asking about evaluation units. Do you have evaluation units to test? The short answer for that for us is unfortunately no, or maybe it's fortunately. We don't have any evaluation units when it comes to detectors to offer. Uh, certainly I would suggest that if you wanted to test our sensors or to compare them with something that you're currently using, then I'll suggest that you purchase a number of them or a box of them. We'll give you a, a special evaluation price for you to go out and install on your next job or jobs. So and I, we feel that's the best way for you to judge the performance of these products. Um, certainly we think that you know from a price and reliability point of view, that you, you're not going to find anything uh, better out there. Uh, and if we're wrong, if for any reason you're, you're unsatisfied, happy to return them and, and you'll receive your money back. Um, detectors aren't the sort of things that you can hand out to people and expect to get back and hand to the next person. Once they're installed, they're pretty much there to stay and we'll pretty much stand by them. That If you put them in, you won't be disappointed in their, their level of performance and certainly pricing as well these days. Uh, someone else has come up and asked, in relation to the uh, dual technology sensors, does the coverage pattern of the microwave mimic the pattern of the PIR? Short answer, yes. It matches it exactly. Uh, you can get a, um, a, a printout of that by looking at the data sheet. So again, by going out to our website or asking us, we can send you the applicable data sheet that will show the coverage pattern of both the, of the PIR and the microwave. Okay. Someone else has come in now and asked regarding remote LED, can I control the LED remotely with any of these detectors? Um, with all the, in fact, with every detector that we sell, but certainly with all of the Aratex sensors, they all have an LED input on them. So that allows you to control the LED remotely from the panel to disable it or enable it as required. So every one of those detectors has that functionality that we sell. Does anyone else have anything? Okay, based on that, it looks like that's all the questions. 
certainly like to thank you for attending our webinar today and we appreciate the time taken out of your schedule. And we hope that uh, at some level it's been very beneficial to you. We certainly look forward to seeing you at the next webinar. Uh, we hope you enjoy the remainder of your day. So goodbye. Thank you.